Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder Museum tour. Today we're headed to West Tennessee for a visit to the beautiful museum called Discovery Park of America. Discovery Park of America originated from the visionary dream of Robert and Jenny Kirkland who sought to enrich their hometown of Union, Tennessee. What began as a community meeting led by Robert Kirkland garnered overwhelming support with over 250 local residents expressing their eagerness to contribute to the creation of a cultural and educational hub in this part of Tennessee. Ultimately, that meeting led to efforts that began on November 1st, 2013, when a ceremonial ribbon-cutting ceremony by Robert and Jenny Kirkland occurred to begin construction of this $100 million masterpiece. This momentous occasion marked not only a first for Obion County, but also established Discovery Park as a unique global landmark. During today's visit, this is the first of a two-part video series, today's visit will take a look at the museum itself. We begin here in Dinosaur Hall. Dinosaur Hall has large fossil reproductions of dinosaurs and marine reptiles. This is all part of the Natural History Gallery, which we'll see here in just a bit. Some of the dinosaurs we see on display include a Triceratops, a, Ty a Tyrannosaurus rex, Aptosaurus, and many more. As I mentioned, this is the first of two parts of a visit to Discovery Park of America. While we explored the museum on this visit, take a look at the playlist for the second visit that we have, which will explore the outside area, which is a heritage park with many other types of exhibits that we'll see, as well as a reproduction village. As we go through the museum, I'll point out a few of the various artifacts that they have, as well as about six different galleries that we're going to explore, including a cultural history gallery, an energy gallery, and a transportation and military gallery.
The Natural History Gallery focuses on two scientific disciplines, geology, which is the study of the earth, and paleontology, the study of prehistoric creatures. In this exhibit, we see physical examples and displays that tell us about the geological story of our planet. Much is told about what is now the state of Tennessee with specimens from across the state on display. We're now heading into what's known as the Enlightenment Gallery. Considered Discoveries Park Cabinet of Curiosities, this is a place where different artifacts sit side by side, each telling their own unique story while working together to help us create an experience. Many early museums grew out of private collections of wealthy individuals. These collections often contained items that belonged to disciplines like geology, natural history, archaeology, or anthropology. The word cabinet was once used to describe a room rather than a piece of furniture, and these eclectic collections that we see here would often be stored in one room called the Cabinet of Curiosities. This interesting collection of scales that we see was donated by Phil Wayman, a Union City native who collected scales with his wife. She first started the collection in 1970, which eventually included more than a thousand scales. Yeah, for real. <laughs> 
One of the most unique items found in the Enlightenment, Enlightenment Gallery is a vampire killing kit. This kit contains markings attributing it to Professor Ernst Bloomberg. It contains a pistol, silver bullets, powdered garlic, an ivory crucifix, a wooden stake, and something called Professor Bloomberg's New Serum. We're now heading into the Chamber of Torture. If you're a little bit squeamish, you may want to skip forward about a minute or so. But on, if you do stay, some of the items on display here are the result of people imagining a brutal past. Keep in mind, some of these did exist, but many of them were more legend than historical facts. The Transportation Gallery showcases interesting and exciting vehicles from Discovery Park's collection. This gallery is frequently updated and may have different uh, modes of transportation and automobiles if you come and visit it. One of the oldest cars that we see in the gallery is a 1916 Ford Model T that was restored right here in Union City, Tennessee. The most contemporary car that we'll see here in just a minute is a 2007 Chevy Monte Carlo SS, otherwise known as the Budweiser No. 8 car. It was driven by Dale Earnhardt Jr. during his final season with Budweiser. Along with these cars, we'll see motorcycles, artifacts, and other memorabilia related to the culture of transportation. Here we'll see gas station signs, vintage pumps, and much more.
We're now heading into the Science, Space, and Technology Gallery. Discovery Park's Technology Showcase traces the evolution of four technologies we often take for granted today, including the written language, recorded sound, recorded images, and digital communications. Artifacts related to all four on display allowing visitors to trace the evolution of each over time and see the connections between technologies and developments that may otherwise seem unrelated. We're now heading into the Native American history where we'll explore the ancient past. There were more than 4,800 artifacts on display in this gallery, including about 4,600 arrowheads and spear points that we'll see mounted on the wall. Right here is an old 12,000 year old woolly mammoth that is part of the Discovery Parks collection that was found in 2000 on a riverbank in Russia and took about three years to excavate. Native American culture is as varied today as it was hundreds, even thousands of years ago. Whether through storytelling, traditional rituals, art, or educational programming, the Native Americans express their identity in unique and diverse ways. Thank you. 
scored first. But when he got to the bar, the hero scored his bed. He had to throw back. And in this diet, the writer was not paid. Next, it was the middle stone's turn. He slammed to the arms and crawled into the tree in a small pool of fire. But the smoke and heat were too much for him. He was strained, but his body had been swore flat. Then from then on, he darted about as he could the tiny little stack in the small plane. Big snake, flying off the of the fire. But he fell into the burning stone and became as black as a new snake. He has been the great black snake ever since. In the beginning, there was no fire, and the earth was a colder place. One day, the thunder twins from Kalorati, the upper world above the rainbow, sent down their lightning and put fire into the bottom of a hollow sycamore tree, which grew on a distant island, seemingly out of reach for the animals who were in the world. The animals recognized the potential of the gift that the mighty thunder twins had given, but did not know how they would retrieve the fire from the home or return to life. A council meeting was called to decide what to work. Every animal that the fly pursued is we're now heading into the military history gallery where we can find on two levels of the museum uh, items, vehicles, information, as well as other exhibits related to the Korean, Vietnam, Cold War, as well as the Civil War.
I hope you've enjoyed this first part of our video at Discovery Park of America. Keep in mind that there's a second part that will take a look at some of the outdoor exhibits as well as historic homes and history about Western Tennessee. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Walking Tours. Take care now. Bye-bye.